friends, and welcome back to Swift Lessons for another lead guitar tutorial. In today's session, I'm going to be showing you some creative ways of tying together a standard 1-6-4-5 progression, that's C, A minor, F, and G, using some Hendrix-inspired licks. Now, we're going to get started learning some source scales, basically just pentatonics that we're drawing the licks from. Then I'm going to break down my intro routine for you lick by lick. I got a full tab for you at patreon.com slash with lessons. Remember, you can become a member there and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started. Okay, close look at the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. Learning the source scales to create these Hendrix style lead lines that are connecting the one, six, four, five progression in the key of C. Now, the first one I'm going to show you is the major pentatonic scale in the E position, okay? So surrounding this bar chord shape of the C major chord. Okay, it's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, so we have 810, 7-10, 7-10, 7-9, 8-10, 8-10. Okay, so this is the scale that we're using to create this very classic Hendrix style lick. Okay, the next scale that we're gonna use is the A minor pentatonic scale. Most of you should probably already know this. Looks and sounds like this. Okay, so that's just your run of the mill minor pentatonic scale. We're going five to eight, five seven, five seven, Five seven, five eight, five to eight. Okay, and we're gonna be creating that minor lick using that minor pentatonic scale, but also some of that major pentatonic scale, or you could also look at it as an upper extension of your minor pentatonic. Okay, so so far you have two scales, the C major pentatonic and the A minor pentatonic. They have the same notes, but different roots. Okay, now next in the progression, we're gonna have the chord F major. So for this one, we're going to be playing the F major pentatonic scale in the G position. So if I find myself actually an F major chord using my G shape surrounding this chord, we're gonna have another position of the major pentatonic scale, this time in the key of F. Okay, so this third scale is gonna look and sound like this. All right, so that was 13th fret of the low E string. Then on the A string, we're gonna play 10 to 12, D string 10 to 12, G string 10 to 12, B string 10 to 13, and then 10 to 13 on the high E. Okay, and from that scale, we're going to find, uh, here's my other F major chord, we're gonna find those classic Hendrix style double stops. Okay, and we're gonna have the exact same scale pattern for the G major chord, our five chord in this key. Okay, it's just going to be up a whole step. So instead of playing off of the 13th fret, we're gonna play off of the 15th fret. The G major pentatonic scale. Okay, so let's review. You've got four scales to practice, and from them we're gonna be uh, drawing our licks. We have the C major pentatonic scale in the E position. We've got the A minor pentatonic scale. We've got the F major pentatonic scale. And we've got the G major pentatonic scale. Okay, now, if you have those scales down, you're ready to jump into learning this full Hendrix style routine. Okay, very good everybody. Now that you have those scale patterns down, we're gonna put them to work and learn this routine. I'm gonna demonstrate it first, beginning with just some open chords, so that way you can kind of hear the progression. Then we're gonna jump into those Hendrix style licks, and I'm gonna break everything down from there. It's gonna sound like this, at a nice slow tempo. One, two, three, one, two, three, C, two. A minor, F, G, and licks. All right, then back 
to the one chord. Let's break that down. Okay, very good everybody. We're getting started breaking down this routine, starting with lick number one over the one chord C major. It's gonna sound like this real slow. Okay, one more time, get that into your ear. All right, so it started off with the low E string, eighth fret with the thumb. Nice and short, staccato. Then I'm gonna bar across the eighth fret of the B and high E string, but I'm gonna do a hammer on the B string, going up a whole step and then back. So it's actually a hammer pull action. Before going to the G string, 10th fret. It's gonna sound great if I can get a little bit of a rake in there just by deadening the strings with my pick and hand. Before switching positions here. Okay, now the second part of this lick is gonna sound like this. Okay, I've got the seventh fret G string, eighth fret of the B string. And I'm gonna do a hammer on the G string going up to nine while I'm still holding down the eighth fret of the B. We're going to repeat that hammer again before going back to seven and eight and then extending out to the 10th fret of the D string. Okay, for a little vibrato. Okay, now that's gonna sum up the entire lick for C major. And if you just walked away from this lesson with that lick, it'd be worth your time. That's a great lick to throw into your practice for the week. Okay, now moving on to the next lick over the chord A minor, our minor six chord in the one, six, four, five progression. This lick is gonna sound like this. A little bit slower. Okay, so we've got the fifth fret, low E string, again with the thumb. Then we're going to have five and five on the D and G. Seven and five. Then we're going to do the same thing, but up one string, G string and B string. Then slide that ring finger, G string, seventh fret, up a whole step to nine. We're in that upper extension of the minor pentatonic scale now before grabbing the eighth fret of the B string with your middle finger. Slide back to the seventh fret, and then go down a whole step. You can do a pull off if you want, before uh, finishing up the lick with a double stop hammer, barring five and five on the D and G, and then hammering on the D string from five up to seven. Okay, you put all that together and we've got. Now, if you put licks one and two together, we have line number one of this routine. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the F major chord, the four chord in this key. Okay, now moving on to lick number three over the four chord F major. It's gonna sound like this real slow. Okay, we're gonna break that up into two parts. The first one. Okay, I hit an F major chord. That's eight, 10, 10, 10. F major bar chord shape root off of the A string. All right, then I'm gonna do an upstroke slide. 10 to 12 on the A string. And then I'm going to bar across 10 and 10, D string and G string. And then play 12 and 10 moving my ring finger to the 12th fret of the D string. That's part one of this lick. All right, now the second part's gonna sound like this. One more time, real slow. Okay, classic Hendrix style pentatonics. So, I'm on 10 and 10, D and G. I'm gonna do a hammer pull. Okay, I went up to 12 on the D and then back to 10. Then I'm going to the 12th fret of the A string 
and then back to that double stop, 10 and 10. And then to finish up this lick, we're once again gonna do a double stop, this time on A and D, 10 and 10, while hammering up a whole step, 12th fret of the A string. Put all that together and we've got. Okay, very good everybody. So far you've got a lick for C major. A lick for A minor. A lick for F major. And now we're ready to move on to the final lick over the five chord G major. Okay, demonstrating our final lick, it's gonna sound like this. It's very short. A little bit slower. It's basically just a hyphenated version of what we did over the F major chord. We strum a G major chord, that's going to be 10, 12, 12, 12. Okay, and you can see I'm barring with my ring finger there, right? That slide with the upstroke. All right, then we're going to play 12 and 12 on the D and G, 14 and 12, and then bar the 12th frets of the A and D string as we hammer up to the 14th fret of the A string. Okay. Now that's going to be the entire routine there. From, from there you can go back to the C major chord and start experimenting trying to create your own licks. All right, you put all that together and we have. like that for a Hendrix style routine over a 1-6-4-5 progression in the key of C. All right, friends, thanks so much for checking out this lead guitar tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash with lessons. I hope you're enjoying all those extra resources. And thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up. So keep checking in. Please subscribe. Please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.